welcome to Vase World. Today, our solar system. Our solar system is made up of a star, the sun, eight planets, 146 moons, a bunch of comets, asteroids, and space rocks, ice, and several dwarf planets, such as Pluto. The eight planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Mercury is closest to the sun. Neptune is the farthest. Planets, asteroids, and comets orbit our sun. They travel around our sun in a flattened circle called an ellipse. It takes the Earth one year to go around the sun. Mercury goes around the sun in only 88 days. It takes Pluto, the most famous dwarf planet, 248 years to make one trip around the sun. Moons orbit planets. Right now, Jupiter has the most, 50. Mercury and Venus don't have any moons. Earth has one. It is the brightest object in our night sky. The sun, of course, is the brightest object in our daytime sky. It lights up the moon, planets, comets, and asteroids. Beyond our own solar system, there are more planets than stars in the night sky. So far, we have discovered thousands of planetary systems orbiting around other stars in the Milky Way. With more planets being found, most of the hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy are thought to have planets of their own. And the Milky Way is but one, perhaps 100 billion galaxies in the universe. While our planet is in some ways a mere speck in the vast cosmos, we have a lot of company out there. It seems that we live in a universe packed with planets, a web of countless stars accompanied by families of objects, perhaps some with their life of their own. Our solar system extends much farther than the eight planets that orbit the sun. The solar system also includes the Kuiper belt that lies past Neptune's orbit. This is a sparsely occupied ring of icy bodies, almost all smaller than the most popular Kuiper belt object, dwarf planet Pluto. Our solar system formed about 4.5 billion years ago from a dense cloud of interstellar gas and dust. The cloud collapsed, possibly due to the shock wave of a nearby exploding star called a supernova. When this dust cloud collapsed, it formed a solar nebula, a spinning, swirling disk of material. At the center, gravity pulled more and more material in. Eventually, the pressure in the core was so great that the hydrogen atoms began to combine and form helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. With that, our sun was born, and it eventually amassed more than 99% of the available matter. Matter farther out in the disk were also clumping together. These clumps smashed into one another, forming larger and larger objects. Some of them grew big enough for their gravity to shape them into spheres, becoming planets, dwarf planets, and large moons. In other cases, planets did not form. The asteroid belt is made of bits and pieces of the early solar system that could never quite come together into a planet. Other smaller leftover pieces become asteroids, comets, meteoroids, and small, irregular moons. We are just a speck in the overall frontier of space, and this is just the beginning of my journey into our solar system. Please like and subscribe.